Okay, so some people are having some trouble adding their points to Google Earth. Really, the first thing you want to do is fly to the place where you want the point to be. I need to go to Oceano, California, because that's where this next picture was taken. There's Oceano. Okay, so now I know where the point needs to be. And in fact, I'm going to move it from here over into the dunes. I'm going to click over here in the dunes. There we go. Maybe I should move out a little bit. And I'm going to tilt down some. Because remember, you can give a really good view to this location. So there are the lovely sand dunes in Oceano. Now, first thing I'm going to do is add a place marker. Okay, so the place mark, if I just click on the little place mark, the little thumbtack up here, it shows up. That's where I want my place mark to be. So, Oceano, California, and the picture was taken in 1936. Um, this is where I put the information. And you could copy paste that in. Um, during his. Guggenheim grant work. And then we're going to insert the picture. Okay, remember we want to do a break. Oops. A break. And then image space source equals and then quotes. Now we have to go get the image location. So we go to where the image is online. You don't want to do this from your computer or from the image in a Word document. It has to be online. Control, hold the control button down, not the command button, the control button, and click on the image and then copy the image location. Then we're going back here to Google Earth and we're going to paste that right in there. Notice that this ends in a JPEG. It should end in a JPEG or a GIF. Then we're gonna do quotes again and close the angle bracket. And then we're gonna do another break here. And then you have to put in your citation. Your citation um, format will be uh, located in your Google Docs. Right. Here we go. And oops. Oh, that's not fun. Okay. Well, the formatting for that is in. Oops. Come back. Is in your your historical Google Docs. It will start with the photographer. Period. First initial. Uh, then the title. Which is the title, and then we need the date, which was 1936, which you conveniently put in the title, and then uh, we need what online image, and then uh, retrieved October today's date when I got it. Uh, from now we have to go back and check out the website okay this is and we can't use this because it says images Google that's the Google image search we have to remove the frame as soon as that goes away it'll be this is ah the Britannica website how convenient so we're gonna copy that as well we go back here from um, Botanical website and then paste in the actual URL for the page. So the URL for the image is up here and the URL for the page is down here. Then when you, oh and if you'd rather not have the yellow uh, thing, I'm going to put a camera because that was where the picture was taken. I'll say OK, now it's a little purple camera. And when you're ready, oh and uh, the other thing, you want to hit view and do snapshot of current view. That's what will zoom you in and get you that cool angle when you just click on the location. So let me go, okay, and now when I click on this, it'll pop up, and it'll pop up with, it'll think for a minute, should pop up with the picture. Hmm. It should. Here. I think it's because, ah, there we go, because my recording is running. And it'll pop up like that, my citation, my picture, and the information. Now hopefully I have more information than this, but that's what this should look like. Hope that helps.